Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be attempting bath bombs. It's the first time that I'm going to try one. Um, I'm following a recipe I found I think on Pinterest um, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't have any, um, they said you must use plant-based plant -based food coloring and I wasn't able to find any so these are just going to be plain white bath bombs. <laughs> nothing, nothing fancy about them because I don't know, I'm a bit worried about putting uh, food coloring, like normal food coloring in because just now you bath <laughs> just now you bath in it and you turn out the same color as the food coloring like the blue or something <laughs> I don't know about you guys but yeah in South Africa at the moment it is extremely hot my hair has just gone frizzy because it's getting so hot <laughs> and I'm sweating all the time it's like it's really bad even though it's actually cloudy today it still it feels hot and humid which is usually not how it feels here in Joburg it usually feels that way in Durban or KwaZulu Natal but um, today over here we are feeling it every now and again we'll get a bit of a nice cold wind coming in but nothing nothing to to talk about so let's run the intro and get on with the video I love being creative and trying new things in my journey through life writing best practices tips and tricks sharing updates on my own writing and books with different tutorials sprinkled in between I enjoy sharing my knowledge. There's music covers and original pieces written and composed by me. Handmade jewelry reveals, sewing videos, other crafts, poetry reading, book reviews, and many, many more. Come and join me on this journey and let's have fun together. video number two because the last one I forgot to put my camera back on after finding more bicarbonate of soda so I went through the whole video without recording it so <laughs> yes I was not happy with myself but um so this is now attempt number two plus the last attempt I can tell you I'll show you um I don't know if I'll show you because it's there by my mom still but the last attempt it didn't want to stick together um, I put it into, you know, so that it can dry. And when I looked the next day, it was already crumbling apart. So I've looked for a different uh, recipe, which I found, and I'm now going to try that. Um, she talks about mica powder in her video, but um, I don't have such things. So they say that you can replace the mica with um, eyeshadow. So I'm going to try that. Uh, that's for the coloring. Um, then I'm going to scrape it with this, um, I've opened up a, um, why do my words not want to come lately? Paper clip. <laughs> I've got a, mol a bowl for the mixing of the dry ingredients. This is for the wet ingredients. I've used glass because I don't want to do it in plastic in case it like sticks to it. You need Epsom salts. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to put the, the if it works, <laughs> I'm going to put the ingredients needed in the description block below. And then you can just go and get it from there. Because it's on my phone. And I'm recording on my phone because my camera battery keeps going flat. And then also my camera gets hot for some reason. So, And my thing keeps getting full, the card. So I'm just doing this now quickly while my camera battery charges. So I'm doing it on my phone. So anyway, you need Epsom salts, bicarbonate of soda, citric acid, coconut oil. Um, I've got avocado oil. She said it's almond oil, but it's basically the same thing as a carrier oil. Um, your essential oils of your choice. Mazina, which is the cornstarch. Um, you need your, um, if you've got bath bomb uh, molds, and you can use that. I don't, so I'm using the silicone cupcake molds and then water from a spray bottle. <clears throat> Mix the dry ingredients except for the, Epsom, uh, except for the citric acid. So the dry ingredients, bicarb, one cup of bicarb. Okay. Half a cup of Epsom salts. Then 
then three quarters cup of mazina or cornstarch one flour then they say that you need to put in a teaspoon of mica so I'm going to choose color probably blue I'm going to take this blue as well and they say you need to mix together the or you need to mix this together Just break it up and you need to mix it together thoroughly now we need to mix together the wet ingredients so on this thing she says witch hazel but I'm going to be using coconut oil so for the witch hazel they say three teaspoons I'm going to use my teaspoon measure and put three teaspoons in two three and the avocado oil or like she said almond oil they both carry oils you need to put in two tablespoons so it's 15 mils by the way this is a lot more liquid than the last recipe 20 drops of your um, essential oil. So I've got lemongrass, mixing lemongrass and peppermint. So I'm going to take 10 10. Then just need to mix these together. Also put some water in. Now you need to mix these two together and you need to mix it quite well. Spray a little bit of water in. Half a cup of Epsom salts, I mean of citric acid. Okay, sorry, I had to need to change cameras again because the other one got the card got full again. <laughs> the joys. Okay, so I'm just mixing the Epsom salts or the citric acid into the mixture now. And they say you need to take, I'm taking three at a time. Um, to start with because you have to really push it in there and if you've only got one then it bends around like a um, silicone mold they say you need to fill in only half of it spritz it a little bit with water very little and then put the other half in but you need to make sure that you put it in firmly In between and you don't want to spritz it a lot with water because then the citric acid is going to react This is now what they look like, but as you can see, yeah, the citric acid is um, is actually um, reacting to the water that was sprayed 
this one this one kind of worked out a little bit better when I put coconut oil instead of water but um, the others also broke up as I put them down so now I'm, this lady that I was this recipe from she doesn't give you exact um, instructions on how to make it but I know the last one said have to leave it for 48 hours so that it can dry properly so that's what I'm gonna do and then we'll come back and see what they look like so this is the, the finished product what's nice is I can actually pick it up and it hardly breaks just a little bit there but it doesn't just fall apart now the ones that I did by my mom then I forgot to push record that I was telling you about these ones just touch it and it like breaks apart and it's now just become powder again basically so yeah I think this recipe is better um, than the other recipe so I might try this one again but not in a hurry because it was not actually fun for me <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and click the subscription block below. It shows support for my channel, which I also really do appreciate. If you look in the description block below, you'll find all of my social media, including my blog, which is where you'll find more content from me. And if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash on Lorenz, you will also find more content from me and it's also the best place for you to support what I do on this channel and then also what I do on my blog. I hope that you have a lovely day further, keep your crystal on and your sparkle strong. Goodbye!